Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Physics 71. Today is the second to the final lecture. Yay! So lecture third. Uh, second to the final day. Actually, it's lecture 30 and 31 today. But um, I'll split the lecture into two. Lecture 30 will be um, right now. And then after that, we will be discussing lecture 31. Uh, so lecture 30 is on simple harmonic motion. So as I said yesterday, uh, we discussed gravitation last time. Uh, the idea there is there's an equation of motion there. Uh, remember, your GMM R squared. So the acceleration is dependent on the position of the objects on the relative position of the objects, right? So your R there is the distance from one to two, and th therefore the force uh, exerted varies as the position. In fact, it's inverse square. Uh, it follows the inverse square law. Now we will also. So the question is, how do we solve an equation of motion like that? Whoa. Remember, um, the equation of motion that we have so far, um, is uh are all constants in time and constants in position, for example, hindi natin kino-consider yung mga equations of motion na may position dependence. Kasi so far, wala pa tayong technique paano mag-solve nun. But for now, we will go to periodic motion. We will consider one important case of uh, these types of equations of motion wherein the, the acceleration is proportional to the displacement. Uh, that is what's known as your simple harmonic motion. Yun yung mangyayari sa ating discussion for today. So, um, so here's an outline of lecture 30. The first one is periodic motion. So we will consider just the general idea of what periodic motion is and the important uh, important variables or important quantities that we are determining when we consider uh, periodic motion. And then second, we consider simple harmonic motion. What is important uh, condition for an oscillator to be considered uh, moving in simple harmonic motion? So ano ibig sabihin pag simple harmonic motion ang motion ng isang bagay? And then after that, we'll get uh, an equation, uh, a differential equation in particular on an equation of motion that we can solve using, of course, cyclic and differential equations that we will not approach that way. What, what we will be doing instead is to use a heuristic approach. Uh, uh, an idea na, ah, ganun lang pala pwede mong gawin doon. Okay? So that, uh, that will be the outline of the first um, maybe 40 minutes of this, um, of this lecture. Okay, so here are the objectives of this um, lecture 30. At the end of the session, you should be able to first relate the quantities associated with oscillating systems. And then second, rec recognize the necessary conditions for an object to undergo simple harmonic motion. Because if you already know uh, the equation of motion, you can predict the position as a function of time, the velocity as a function of time, and the acceleration as a function of time of this um, object in simple harmonic motion. Okay, so get questions so far. May tanong ba? May tanong? Answer. Done, okay. 